Number 36. Use the build a molecule simulation, which is this link right here. And I have the link in the description if you guys need it, which will bring you to the simulation on the right hand side here. And it says to repeat exercise 2.34, but build a molecule with three carbons, seven hydrogens, and one chlorine. All right, so I'm just going to put it up here. We need three carbons, three Cs, seven hydrogens, and one Cl, one chlorine. Okay, so I have A, B, and C. So for A, it says draw the structural formula of this molecule and state its name. All right, so first off, um, in exercise 2.34, what they want you to do is they want you to click on the larger molecule tab. So that's, we're on make molecules right now. You got to go over two to the larger molecules. All right. And now I just have to find the correct kit to get three carbons, seven hydrogens, and one chlorine. It seems like the first kit is good enough. It has carbon, hydrogen, and chlorine. You could always click through these kits, you know, just for fun to make up your own compounds. But I'm going to go back to kit number one. Okay. So I'm going to pull out three carbons, one, two, and three. And we've definitely done two of these by now. So I'm going to kind of pick up the pace here. But if you're new here, you could try number 34 and 35. It's just like these problems for a more in-depth take on it. So I'm going to put the three carbons together because we've kind of been noticing that carbons like to be together. I'm going to put maybe the, car the chlorine over here. Okay, so that works. And now I just need seven hydrogens. So let's see, if I keep throwing hydrogens on this one, that's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, cool. I, I made a compound, right? Now I need to write the structural formula and I need to state the name. So for right now, let's just write the molecular formula, right? The MF molecular formula was C3H7Cl, right? There's one here, but we don't write one. It's implied that there's one there. Structural formula is the actual ball and stick model. So it's uh, showing the bonds. Now, in order to get a good look at here, you can click the 3D over here, and you can click the ball and stick to see if there's any double bonds or triple bonds or if it's just all single bonds. But if I look here, they look like they're all single bonds. So I'm just going to draw everything with one line to it, all single bonds. So I'm going to follow this trend here. I have a C, a C, a carbon, and then a Cl, a chlorine. And then it looks like I have the hydrogens. There's three hydrogens on this first carbon. There's two hydrogens over here. And two hydrogens here. Cool. So that's the structural formula. So this is the structural formula. Okay, and it just says state its name. So this name is 1-chloro-propane, chloro, um, and the name is there. This is, or, this is part of organic chemistry, so when you get there, you guys will probably have to actually know how to name it, but I think they actually do that at the end of this textbook. So we'll get there. We'll get there. We're only in Chapter 2. So... We did everything for A, right? We drew the structural formula, and then we stated its name. That's it. Now, they want you to arrange these atoms to make a different molecule. And if you can do that, draw its structural formula and state its name. So, let's see. I had the flow of carbon, 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 chlorine, and the chlorine is attached to the last carbon. Maybe the chlorine can be on the second carbon, right? So, I'm just going to kind of separate these guys like that and maybe instead I'll put I'll try to put the chlorine in the middle you see instead of being at the end because that might be different now look what happens when I try to put the hydrogen with the chlorine it doesn't like it right you see how it's going to the chlorines so that means that the chlorine only wants to bind with the carbon so I'm just going to keep throwing this over here hopefully we get a name let's see oh there it is 
But still, it has the same molecular formula, right? But the molecular formula was C3H7Cl. But the structural formula is now different. You have carbon, 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 and the chlorine is now in the middle, surrounded by three hydrogens on the right side and three hydrogens on the left side and one hydrogen in the middle. So this would be the structural formula. Both of these are the structural formula. And we could also see that by clicking the 3D button and going to the ball and stick and seeing that they're all single bonds, right? There's all only one line here. But the name is different. The name here is 2-chloropropane. So I'm going to write that down, 2-chloropropane. Okay, so we did that. We drew its structural formula and we stated the name. So that's the end for B. Now, C. How are the molecules in A and B the same? How are the molecules drawn in A and B the same? Well, it's definitely not by their structural formula, right? The structural formula is completely different. But what stayed the same? The molecular formula. For A, it was C387Cl. And for B, it was C387Cl. So what stayed the same was the molecular formulas. So the molecular formula stayed the same. So that means that it had the same number of carbons, the same number of hydrogens, and the same number of chlorines. But now, how do they differ? Well, it's not the molecular formula, because that was, so I'm just going to say difference here. That was the same, the molecular formula, but what was different? Oh, the actual structural formula was the difference. So structural formula was different just means different connections. Different connections, right? Different atoms being connected. The chlorine on A was connected at the end. Meanwhile, the chlorine in B was connected in the middle with the middle carbon. So that's the difference. And now they say, what are they called? The type of relationship between these molecules, not their names. So just know, and I'm going to put it over here, if you have the same molecular formula, but different, I'll put structural formula, so SF, or just different connections, the name for this is, these are structural isomers. So they're isomers structurally. If their structural formulas are different, but the molecular form is the same, they're just called structural isomers. All right, so that was the answer that they wanted for what are they called. They would be called structural isomers. All right, guys, I hope this helped. This one was fun. In your own spare time, if you want to use the simulation to kind of make new compounds up, go right ahead. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. I'll see you guys in the next question. Take care.